guys. Just wanted to take this opportunity to show you guys how I prepare my grouper. Um, this is a, uh, a nice fillet of uh, red grouper. And um, basically what, what I like to do is I like to uh, leave the skin on it until you're ready to eat the fish. Um, I find it that, you know, through the years of doing this, that leaving the skin on until you're ready to eat it actually preserves the taste uh, or the flavor a little bit better than filleting the entire fish and just having the uh, flesh in a Ziploc bag or anything like that. So if you're planning on, on uh, storing it for a couple of days before you consume it, um, I recommend you leave the skin on it and um, uh, try to minimize the amount of uh, uh, fresh water um, or tap water that you put on it until you're ready to uh, consume it because uh, the fresh water does change the taste uh, quite a bit. So uh, that's just a little tip there for you. I don't mind the mess, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, prepare this and show you guys how to uh, make this uh, grouper filet on the uh, grill. Uh, we're gonna use royal oak um, lump charcoal. It's my favorite way of uh, cooking uh, fish. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is um, we will remove the skin. Like I said earlier, I'm a huge fan of uh, keeping the skin on the fish until it's ready to be consumed. Um, reason for it is, um, it just, uh, in my opinion, helps preserve the flavor and the freshness of the fish a lot better than um, skinning it and storing it for two, three days or so on and so forth. Especially if you're gonna freeze it. I would probably leave the skin on it, freeze the fish with the skin, and um, and then take the skin off as soon as you're ready to consume the fish. So we've gone ahead and taken the skin off. Set that aside. Um, I didn't debone this yet, so it, you know, like most fish, they have a small line of bones here. So you want to go in on the left side of that uh, that line of bones and just carve into the meat like that. Okay, um, and then go on the right side of that line of bones and do the same thing until you end up with this little sliver of meat. If this if this was uh, transparent, you would see a line of bones just running through the center there. So you want to take that off. All right, uh, just clean up the fillet as much as possible. If you got a little bit of that stomach meat uh, or, or stomach lining, take that out. Um, feel for any additional bones. Sometimes when you fillet the fish, uh, you may miss miss some bones in the process. So this is a good time to go ahead and, and inspect that. Um, just kind of carve out any of these loose little pieces of meat on the sides. Um, now with grouper, and I know some of you might be disgusted by it, but grouper actually does have parasites. So if you if you look carefully, you'll see that it's got these dark spots, and that's actually uh, some parasites. Now, mind you, uh, that's completely harmless to humans. Uh, of course, you're gonna cook this to a temperature where it's safe to consume. I personally like to take these out, okay? Um, and simply, you, you could just dig into the meat and it'll it'll take it out. And this, this is basically what it is. It's just like a little uh, parasite deal. But again, it's harmless to humans, um, especially when, you know, you're gonna cook this at a uh, high temperature. So, <clears throat> just kind of go in there, look for them. I like to take the fillet up against the light, and you know, and just take a look and um, the meat is translucent enough to uh, realize where the uh, parasites are. So just go in there and dig them out. Uh, if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any comments, uh, if you guys know of a better strategy, um, share it with me. That's what the comment section is for. Um, you know, you guys could engage and as much as you want ask some questions I'll be happy to uh, answer some questions that you guys may ask and again if you have any suggestions or, or little tricks and stuff that you might want to share um, uh, we, we definitely encourage that so um, you know be my guest and uh, go in there and, and share them with me but uh, again we're just taking taking uh, taking time to get rid of these parasites that are inside the flesh now they're not inside all grouper um, my my experience has been that uh, most 
most of the red grouper have it. I, um, you know, a lot of them, a lot of them don't. I've caught red grouper that don't have any parasites in them. Um, I guess it just has to do with the time of the year or what they're feeding on or the area you catch them in, how, how the, uh, how the bottom is. I mean, I'm sure they consume something that leads to, um, them getting these parasites. So anyways, I like to keep my marinade real simple. Um, I use olive oil. You can't go wrong with seafood magic from Chef uh, Perdome. Real good stuff. And I like to add a little bit of a kick to it with uh, fajita seasoning. I use fajita seasoning on a lot of stuff. Um, you will be surprised at the amount of flavor that's packed in this. You don't really have to use much of it, but it does have good flavor in it. Um, particularly if you're using it for chicken and uh, pork chops and so on and so forth. So uh, whenever you're in the store, pick up uh, the fajita seasoning from Badia and you're going to absolutely love this. So just get creative with it, add it to different things and see what, uh, what you like it in the most. All right, so real quick, we'll just throw the grouper fillets in here. Put a little bit of olive oil in there. Okay, just kind of work that over a little bit. Get it nice and coated. Okay, got any scales, get rid of the scales that are left over from the filleting process. All right. <clears throat> Another thing I'm a huge fan of is, if I can find it. Oh, there it is. All right. I love this uh, chunky garlic um, in the tube. It's just so easy to just kind of squeeze it in there. You don't got to mess with it. So um, just put a little bit in there for flavor. It don't take much. Garlic is a strong, uh, um, strong flavor. So um, we'll go ahead and put our fajita seasoning in there. Just give it a nice little coat. Um, We'll go with our seafood magic. That's gonna give it a little bit of a bite. Okay, go ahead and work this around a little bit. Get all those flavors in there. Then, old trick a friend of mine taught me. Thank you, JT, in case you're watching. You want to go ahead and you want to poke the crap out of this with a fork. That's going to do it. It's going to just uh, <clears throat> really inject the flavor in there quick. And you want to do this particularly if you're grilling because if you're grilling, um, as you put this on the grill, you want those flavors to kind of make their way through the meat. In the grilling process so the first five six minutes on one side are essential because a lot of this flavor is going to get worked into the flesh so all right so as you can see that's got a nice uh, color to it um, smells good already it's not even cooked yet so uh, I'm sure that uh, when we throw this on the grill it's gonna be fantastic all right so we'll set this aside Next on the menu is something real easy. I'm sure you guys are gonna love this. Um, just grab a regular uh, pan like this. It's got a, a, a handle that could withstand some temperature because this is gonna end up in the grill, okay? Um, so what you wanna do here is, um, I'm sure you guys seen these mashed potatoes in the store. Um, these are already cooked and you're just supposed to pop them in the microwave But what I like to do is I like to put these in the grill and it just works out so much better So I'm only going to use half So you're going to take half of this just like that Okay and just throw it on there. Okay. Now we're gonna cover this back up and it's gonna go back in the fridge. I'm sure somebody's gonna try to 
make this tonight so it's ready to go and it's I don't have to make the whole thing which is what I like um, I can only make half and put that film over it and put it back in the fridge but if you guys are wondering what brand this is um, there's several brands they're all really good um, I like this one it's got real good flavor in it it's kind of like the steakhouse uh, uh, flavor and plus additionally we're gonna put it in the uh, grill so it's gonna grab some of that uh, uh, wood charcoal flavor to it real good stuff all right guys so we're ready to go and um, place this in the grill um, this has been incredibly simple um, as you can see we, we uh, prepared the uh, grouper fillets what we got in there is the uh, uh, seafood magic we got a little bit of olive oil in there and we got a little bit of fajita seasoning in there that's it uh, you don't need anything else oh and the garlic of course this is key um, now what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of salt once it's on the grill um, so when when we get that char going on one side I'll put salt on top and that's it I don't want to put too much salt some of this stuff already has salt so um, so that's that for the fish and then for the mash just get yourself a pan like this throw the mash in there um, you know that store, store bought ready to go uh, mashed potato you're gonna put it in there and you, we're gonna set it in the grill on the higher rack um, so that uh, it just kind of slowly warms up and, and it starts grabbing all that charcoal flavor it's really delicious I made this before for friends and they absolutely love it they're um, uh, they, they were asking how did I infuse it with that uh, barbecue flavor or whatever and it just simply happens when you you know start cooking some of the stuff in the grill and all the smoke and everything else going on in there infuses the uh, mashed potato and it turns out great so anyways let's go to the grill and see what we got going on all right guys we're here at the grill um, looks like the charcoal is good to go um, whew, that's real hot all right so I got my mitt Oh yeah, that's hot. All right. That's what I'm talking about, man. So anyways, um, we got the charcoal. Nice and hot. I'm going to put this there. Get that real hot. Just you want to get that nice sear. That's how you're going to uh, seal in the flavors. So... Once that's like that, I like to give it a little scrub. Just like that. Remember, you don't want to knock too much of that stuff off because it's actually going to help you uh, get some flavor. So we'll go ahead and leave that there and grab our stuff. All right, guys. So grill's ready. Look how nice that looks. I'm gonna go inside and get some uh, non-stick and be back. So the idea is to get a little bit of this non-stick on there, but be careful, stuff is flammable, okay? So shoot it from a distance, just like that, okay? Now you wanna set your mashed potato away from the direct heat. And you wanna go ahead and put your grouper down, just like that. Oh, I wish you could smell this. All right, we're gonna let this go for about uh, six minutes. Okay, guys, so it's been about six minutes or so. Um, we're gonna go ahead and give this a little flip. You can see we got a beautiful sear on, on it. Um, mashed potato is starting to get a little warm. Looking good. We'll give it about another, I want to say maybe three, four minutes, and that's it. You don't want to overcook this fish, okay? Okay guys, so it's been like another four minutes. Um, this piece here is done. Look at that. 
Oh my god. This is a great recipe if you guys like uh, grouper sandwiches. Um, the fajita seasoning tends to work really well with the uh, with the uh, Chef Porperone Padron um, seasoning. I can never pronounce his last name. Perdome, Padron. Anyways, so that's that. Um, look at that. It's so beautiful. Give this a little stir. Work those flavors in. A little closer to the fire. There you go. Almost done. Okay, so one thing I like to do is to uh, wrap this in aluminum foil. Just like that. And let it rest for a little bit. Let it chill. That way, it, you know, because it, it's still cooking as we speak. So you want that to finish cooking in the inside. Want to let it rest, let it chill for, you know, two or three minutes, whatever. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and get the uh, mashed potato, which is ready. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the mash is ready. Um, let me go ahead and switch hands. Right there. See how it's taking on this uh, this nice color? That's the uh, that's from the smoke from the uh, wood wood charcoal. So um, let's go ahead and plate that like that. Perfect. Now, here's a little trick I do. They sell this at the uh, Brazilian uh, food stores. Uh, it's called farofa, and um, basically farofa is it's kind of a like almost like breadcrumbs, but it's not. It's made from uh, a root. And um, they add other flavors to it and stuff like that. And I guess they roast it. But uh, anyhow, this stuff on mashed potato is phenomenal. So you just want to put a little bit on top. Kind of like that. Just kind of spread it around. The texture of it. Combined with the mashed potato. Has been a winner for me. Awesome. Okay. I'll go ahead and get our grouper. Look at that. Oh my God. I know this is kind of a big serving, but what can I say? I need my protein. Okay. And then some, this is some of the juices and stuff. I like to just pour that on top, just like that. Yep. So if your mouth is watering about this moment, um, there's a good reason for it because this right here, not only is it healthy, um, it's just unbelievably good. Um, so try the recipe, um, drop some comments below, let me know how it went. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Uh, remember to subscribe so that I can continue doing this. Um, you know. Every time somebody subscribes, it's just extra motivation for me to take the time to grab the camera, set up, you know, and kind of teach you guys how to, you know, how I do things. And, and hopefully this will help you out as well if, if you're looking for ideas on how to cook fish differently other than just deep frying it like everybody else does. Um, I'll be happy to, to do that for you. This is one strategy. I have other strategies that I, that I want to share with you. But the only way for me to do that is if you subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And that way I can continue doing this for you guys. Thank you for watching. See you guys on the next episode at Puro Channel.